Hey guys, so this is going to be my 11 week update. late too and I apologize for that. Me around 122 pounds. I weighed myself with Dustin's parents um, scale. I don't have a scale here so I did weigh on their scale and it is an old school scale so according to that scale I'm 122 pounds. The baby this week is the size of the line which is 1.6 inches long about 0.25 ounces. The baby is now moving like crazy inside your belly as well as their skin is kind of like at that see-through stage, but they're starting to develop the fatty cells that will make their skin less see-through over the next few weeks. The baby's fingers and toes are no longer web. The baby's tooth buds and hair follicles are also now developing. And the baby also has a one-in-one -one, um, head to body ratio. So their head is actually the exact same size as their body is right now. Um, as far as ultrasounds and prenatals go, I haven't had an ultrasound or a prenatal this week. Um, I did go in for blood work, which wasn't really that interesting. I don't have another I don't have another doctor's appointment until next week. I believe on Wednesday, next Wednesday, I'll have a doctor's appointment, um, which will be on May the 20th. I think it's May the 20th at like 11.30 or something. My symptoms this week, um, basically they're pretty much the same as last week. I am feeling still very nauseous, but um, the vomiting has kind of subsided. I'll have like a day here or there, I guess, where I'm like getting sick and actually getting sick, but for the most part it's just nausea and you know, like the nausea isn't, it's, it hasn't been as bad. It's kind of like weans off in the middle of the day, so by the time the evening comes and stuff, I definitely have more energy. I'm still very exhausted this week. This week has been like the hardest week for trying to like keep myself motivated and get up and do what I need to do. I definitely just want to go to sleep and like have naps and that kind of thing. Um, it's definitely been hard to find any sort of motivation, so I definitely hope that in the coming weeks. I'm still feeling quite hormonal and moody. Um, I'm sure I've been just a peach for everybody in my life to have to deal with. I am trying to keep myself in a positive mindset and I am trying to, um, basically I'm trying not to be a giant jerk and piss everybody else off in the same sense um, because I'm moody and kind of grumpy. Um, I've definitely been trying to like, if I get grumpy, I try to just like go outside or like go to a different room and separate myself from everybody. Um, I've started to develop leg cramps this week. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm not drinking enough water, which I feel like I am drinking more than enough water. I'm drinking at least what I'm supposed to be drinking, if not more. But um, I've been having like, I wouldn't even call them like leg cramps. Um, it's almost more like a leg spasm. And then when I don't have leg cramps, I've been having like ligament stretching and belly cramping. Um, so it's been quite difficult trying to fall asleep. As far as cravings go this week, I am still craving fruit like crazy, um, mostly like cantaloupe. Um, strawberries, well any kind of berry, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, um, really any type of fruit honestly. Um, it's just such an easy go-to snack and like it's so juicy. Same with the raw vegetables. Raw vegetables have definitely been my hero, especially cucumbers. Um, I definitely like broccoli and carrots as well, like those have been like my go-to's. But cucumber is like, I don't I don't even know how to explain it, just cucumber and ranch dip is delicious. I've been a little bit addicted to some sweets this week. Um, I've definitely gotten a little bit more of an uptake back with sweet foods. And I've been craving like brownies and baked goods and cookies, which is never a bad thing because it always gives me in faith an excuse to bake. I also have been craving ice cream and chocolate. I've been trying to avoid chocolate just because I've had some really bad, like my skin has been really bad this pregnancy and I know that chocolate does not help my skin. And as far as dinner foods, I'm still obsessed with anything that's meat. I can eat pretty much anything that's meat. Meat has been my favorite this um, pregnancy pretty much. Um, meat tastes delicious. I haven't had much of an issue with it. Um, there hasn't been meat that's really made me sick or as well as I've been obsessed with Caesar salad. I think every time I've eaten Caesar salad this pregnancy, I've said it's the most delicious thing in the entire world. And the last thing that I've really, really been craving is mashed potatoes. Um, really, to be honest, like potatoes, anything like fries, mashed potatoes, sliced potatoes, fried potatoes, 
just potatoes in general are delicious, even chips. I just love potatoes. As far as aversions go this week, I still can't eat cooked vegetables. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna eat cooked vegetables this whole pregnancy. That has been setting me off, especially in the morning, and I don't know if it's just because I'm nauseous in the morning, um, because generally I don't eat eggs unless I it's morning time, but eggs have been like a really big no-go. They're kind of like on and off. I think one day this week I actually was able to eat eggs and not get sick, but honestly, for the most part, this eggs have not been going well with me this week. video for our update on our prenatal appointment um, hopefully I'll find out some more information on my 3d 40 ultrasound for you guys so we can figure out when I'm exactly going to do that but anyways I hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and like this video and comment if there's anything else that you would like to see